First class, talk to the people around. How was your how was your week? Let's start off with that. How was your week, brother? My week was tough. He said his week was tough, but he got through it. He was fighting. Who? Mm-hmm. He doing some two pieces, knockout, haymakers? Fighting the demons. Okay. Monte, well, listen, well, the demons got their ass kicked. He here. <laughs> he didn't hear. He pulled up. So hello. He was fucking shit up. Don't play like that. Oh, Jane, can I get like two more? Like, a little two more. Yeah, thank you, babe. Thank I you, babe. I dropped like half of my cup just now. I say, listen, I do that all the time, every show. I throw away shit. I'm so clumsy. That's why I slipped to my safety proof cup. <laughs> I did one of those. We got that wrong. I'm going to say, oh, you took your lid off. That's what happened. I know. I had no stroke. That's what happened. Okay. Get the thank, you. thank you, babe. A little icing. All right, there. see, now we go. Yeah, it's a little, a little ice. spot. Little so. He said he had a rough week, his demons was what you call it. He knocked over his drink, but it's okay. I'm sure you got a refill. You got a refill? Uh, yeah. Brothers over there, give that man a refill right here, okay? Oh, that's it. I'm on parole. I can't oh, do that. Okay, no more. All right. So, tell me how you got your name first class. I was on name first class. Um, it sounded like you was on the airplane first class. She was like, I like it here. I like it. I mean, definitely, definitely like that. It's just, you know what I'm saying? I was incarcerated and, you know, I'm hounding. Everything, so you know that's how the name came about. Okay. So when did you start um, pursuing music? 2012. So what was that experience like? Like, were you were you incarcerated at that time or were you home? Nah, I was in and out when I was a juvenile. I've been going to jail since I was 11. How old are you now? 23. Okay. And you not going back no more, right? Nah, Period. Nah, that was the last That's time. That's it. Over now. Anybody got time for that? Uh, it's over now. But, um, so tell me about that experience when you just figured, like, listen, I, I love know. music. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. My man, my man. Uh, Are you nervous? No, nah, my man Top Flogger, right? Listen, listen, <laughs> like, my I'm man Top Flogger, question. right? He started rapping first. Okay. Like, so we, st- we recorded some shit through SoundCloud on two phones. Recording on one phone, using using the beat on the other phone, and that's how we started our first song. And then after that, we just started pursuing, going to studios and doing shit like that. After people said they started liking the music, so. Who was the first person that you let even hear your music before you even started writing with him? Like, when did you discover like I could rap, like I could do this? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. That's the first person that I started rapping with. Like, do you remember your first song? Bad song. It's a bad song. It's called uh that was when Lil Herb and Nicki made the uh Chirac song. So okay. we remixed that. Okay. Yeah. So if you could put your music in any category, what would you put your music in? Mm, I say I'm all over. Like I could do I could do everything, like heartbreak music, whatever you want, drill music. What's your favorite? My favorite? I like, I think I'm I'm the best at like Heartbreak music. I think I think that's what I'm best at. Do but you do you think that you're the best because the music that you write you actually relate it to it? Right. Okay. Right. right. Okay. Real music is too easy. Like that comes too easy. Like, that's so you're an emotional writer. Right. Right. I think it's better when I when I do that. So tell me tell me about your experience of hearing a beat <coughs> and what inspires you to even create a song. What what gives you that tick when you hear the beat? Sick. I don't know, I just feel it. You get it through your body. Like, you know how you go through beats? You listen and you listen in. And you be skimming through them, like, nah, that's not it. That's not it. And then one, you just, it just comes off, like, or oh, you feel it. Like, that's, that's it right there. That's it. Are you a writer that writes before you actually go to the studio or you just freestyle on the spot? Because some people are really gifted where they can just go in the studio and go off. I ain't gonna lie. I, I gotta write before I go to the studio. I can go in there and make a song. It's gonna take me a while, though. But I how long is a while? Three, four hours? Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit, man. No, but I know the vibes. It definitely, people think that doing music is really easy, and it's really not. Because being in a studio for, as you said, three, four hours to, like, make sure the song that you're doing come out perfect, that's a lot. That's a fact. 